It's a blessing time indeed to give honor and glory to God for what he has done in your life. Hallelujah. Church, this is an opportunity for you to give honor and glory to God that is made specially to make sure that the honor and glory goes to God for whatever it is that he has done in your life through the ministry, through the anointing that is resting upon our, our pastors. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are about to hear how the Lord has transformed the lives of our people. We have testimonies even coming from our online platforms. And as such, we know in the interest of time, we will not be able to bring all the testimonies in one day. But we will make sure that they will come through in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So as you listen to these wonderful testimonies from our brothers and sisters, we know that you will be encouraged in one way or the other to trust the Lord for your own situation. Shall we put our hands together as we are welcoming our deaconess for the testimonies. Good morning, church. My name is Charlie Abbott. I would like to thank God for his mercy upon my life and the grace to save in this great ministry, life-changing Christian church. I want to thank the Lord Almighty for divine healing. Two weeks ago, the enemy fired, me an arrow, fired an arrow to cripple me through my stomach and spinal cord. I started bleeding from inside, and it was when, um, when nature calls, it was only blood coming out. I was very sick and very weak. I couldn't stand or sit for five to ten minutes. And today, I just want to thank the Lord of life-changing Christian church that the arrow has backfired. And affliction shall not rise against for a second time. In Jesus' name. I want to thank our senior pastor for praying for me and his divine direction to take prayers from Power Shift book, Prayers Against Quick Evil Arrow. I just want some to tell you, say, you are doing a great work. You are the benefactor of, we are the benefactor of your obedience. Please keep at it, say. I also want to thank our resident pastor for his support word of encouragement and love for us life changers. We are praying for you, sir. Thank you. Praise the Lord. My name is Celine Kavanje, and this morning I'd like to thank God for answered prayer. I'm a student at the, at the University of Namibia, and in my first year I'd applied for financial assistance from the Namibia Students Financial Assistance Fund. Um, However, in 2021, they hadn't paid any of my fees, my non-tuition and my tuition fee. And I would always go to their offices, starting from December 2021. But every time I went there, I would be told that the person that is in charge of payments is on leave or he's, on in, or he's not in office or any other excuse that I would be given. And this was every time I went to their office. I'd like to thank God because he located a divine helper for me in the institute who helped me on what I should do and who I should speak to. I followed the instruction that I was given, and I want to thank God that in June, they released a portion of my fees. However, they didn't settle the entire fees. And about two Sundays or a Sunday ago, um, our senior pastor called those that were owed by anyone to come in front and command the release of their money. I came forward, and in faith, I commanded the release of my money immediately. A few days later, when I checked my financial statement, I noticed that all my fees for 2021 were settled in full, and I want to thank God for that. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. My name is Tadesh Samuel Shimanda. Today, I want to thank the Lord. Um, yesterday, it was our mass evangelism. I'm part of the prison ministry. The people that go to the correctional facilities to preach the gospel to those who are locked up. Yesterday we went there. Fifteen people attended our service. Four of them gave their lives to Christ. <clears throat> there was one specific person that is convicted for life. This person has already served 
35 years in prison. He has, he has never attended a service. He's, he's known to be a boss inside. You know, if you are a boss inside, it means you are on top of everyone, including the police. So this person is known that he misbehaves, he beats people. So whenever they invite him for any church service, be it whether you are a police or you are not, he will beat you up, throw you with water, or even go as far as beating the, those who come to preach there. But we want to thank the Lord that yesterday, for the first time, when we came there, he attended our service. So, so when we had done, we, when we gave them the word of God, he was the first person to stand up and give his life to Christ. Amen. Okay, we didn't know who the person was. We were only told after that the, among the prisoners, they were very much shocked. They came to us and said, please, you need to give this testimony because we are shocked that this person attended your service and gave his life to Christ. And we want to thank the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. name of the Lord. Brethren, we continue to read the testimonies that have been documented in this ministry. And we thank God for his move in this ministry. Hallelujah. Our next testimony comes from Asha Joseph and Wanganisa Garamata. And they say, this blessed morning, we like to thank God for favor and blessings on every side. We play for a women's football club called Ramblers. And since we joined the team, the Lord has helped us to grow in our gift. And he has helped us with the Women's Winter Football League, which opened the door for us to go and compete in Cape Town, South Africa. We would like to thank God for favoring us so much that we got selected to be part of the team. And we also thank God for the helpers he sent, plus all the donations that went towards making the trip to South Africa possible. We especially would like to thank our pastors, Deaconess Elder Jacob and his wife, and all of our aunties and uncles in Christ for their help and their support. May the Lord bless you a hundredfold. Glory be to God for divine favors and open doors in Jesus' name. Our next testifier, his name is Emmanuel Shimhanda, Shinedima. And he says, I have a testimony to the goodness of the Lord. I have been sowing a seed and praying to the Lord for a promotion. On the 14th of July this year, we had a special program titled Unlocking Financial Flow. And I also used that opportunity to persist on my request from the Lord. Within two days after the program, the MD called me in and told me, that our workshop manager had resigned. He asked me if I was interested in taking up the position. He ran me through the duties, the salary package, and the fringe benefits that were attached. I agreed, and he asked me then to send my updated CV to him so that he can channel the request through to the HR department in Norway. As God will have it, the Norwegian office gave a positive feedback and approved my placement. Praise be to Jesus. I really want to thank the Lord for this promotion. I want to thank the Lord for the teachings and the impartations in Life Change Christian Church. The counsel of the Holy Spirit for his faithfulness and for sustaining my prayer request. 
May the name of the Lord be lifted on high in Jesus' name. My name is Josephine Roy. There was money owed unto me for a certain, from a certain institution in Namibia. I have been waiting for this money for the past two years. It usually takes three months for this particular institution to process these funds. But my case was very different. Every time I would follow up, they will always tell me that one or another document was missing from my application. This has been the situation for the past two years. There were prayers we prayed then in one particular Sunday service. Our senior pastor called those who were owed millions of Namibian dollars to come out to the front and pray for the release of their funds. I was not owed millions of dollars, but I came believing that the anointing in this ministry would go and fight for me in that institution that my funds would be released. I kept that service and the words spoken by the servant of God in my heart, trusting that the delay over that money would be broken. I have returned to the house of God to testify that God did it for me. He fought my battles and the money that I have been waiting for for over two years have been released. I soak my testimony in the precious blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Our next testifier, her name is Hilia Inamutira. And she says, I would like to give thanks to the Lord Jesus Christ for touching me during one of our Thursday services. In the year 2014, while arranging my suitcases, I ended up hurting my lower back as I was trying to lift one of the bigger suitcases. And since then, I have had lower back pains. But today, I'm glad to say that an instance in the presence of God, the pain of over seven years disappeared miraculously. God is too good, and I thank him for this wonderful commission and for our pastors. To God be all the glory always. I soak my healing in the precious blood of Jesus, and affliction shall never rise up again in Jesus' name. Shall we give the Lord a clap offering for those wonderful testimonies? Yesterday we went for mass evangelism. Hallelujah. And then we thank God for our resident pastor. Um, you know, when you keep on doing the same thing, you keep on getting the same result. He told us about some strategy that we should use. We shouldn't be in a hurry to just, uh, oh, just preach to them. Then, oh, we covered some, maybe 10 people we didn't want our no. We took our time to preach to people and were ready to listen to us. It's like they were waiting for us to preach to them. That's one amazing testimony of one brother. He has blast leading. He said he's been looking for somebody to, to talk this kind of word to him. And we encourage him. I happen to be in that, in that group. And we are three of us. We share ourselves three trees. We just went around uh, Demara 7, Demara 4, and also Emente, Demara bus stop, and everywhere. So this gentleman said, no, and they listened. And we took our time to introduce Christ to them and to also ask them if they want to give their life to Christ without forcing them. We don't, if they know, please be genuine. We are not forcing you. If you want to think about it, you can think about it. But amazingly, they said, no, we want to give our life to Christ. The other one said he was born again 2018. And he has passed leading. He was so sincere. We thank God for the sincerity of this brother. He's now a brother now because he eventually gave his life to Christ. And, and we told him, he said, you need to get a Bible-believing church to attend that you will always fall if you don't, you are not rooted, you don't have fellowship with the children of God. And lo and behold, today they are here to fellowship with us. Because, because, because we called, we called them. I personally called them before our service. I wanted to come and pick them up. 
But they said, no, we will come. In fact, we are dressing up now. We will be here within 15 minutes. I said, wow. <laughs> Hallelujah! And I know also other group, other group, I know some of them also attended our service today and they are here. And I know that as the man of God is going to preach to us, they will see that there's a, there's a power in the word of God and this is a living church. And we we pray that they will continue to fellowship with us so that we can make heaven at last in Jesus' name. So if you are not coming for evangelism, you are missing out. Bible says, he that winneth a soul is wise. So we are wise that came yesterday. I hope you are going to come and join us next mass evangelism. May his name be praised in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We are serving a living God and all those testimonies, it is really God demonstrating his power right here in Life Changing Christian Church. I want us to put us, our hands together once more for all those testimonies. Even those souls that has come to Jesus, put your hands together for that wonderful work of God. Hallelujah.